Hello, you're watching the if statement tutorial. This will be a real brief tutorial because the if statement is relatively simple. Uh, if you need some additional help with nested if statements, and that's just another way of saying an if statement within another if statement, um, there you can click on one of my other videos. So real quickly, um, you can see that I've got two lists here, supplier and sales. Let me zoom in here a bit. And we'll say essentially what the if statement is trying to tell you or, or what you're trying to do with it in Excel is uh, answer a yes or no question. And so the yes or no question is uh, if something is above or below a certain value uh, this function makes something else happen. So like most examples the best way to illustrate this is uh, with an example and so I'll show you that here. Um, and so I'll say um, sales over 20,000 for this column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my if statement. There are two ways you can do it. You can e either do equals if and then start um, typing it in or you can go through the function uh, dialog box here. But I just like using the equals if function. And so you see that our syntax here is if logical test and then value if true and value if false. Uh, and so the English version of that is uh, if this happens, uh, this is what Excel is going to do. And if it doesn't happen, this is what Excel is going to do. So let's see what happens. So our logical test is, you know, the original question we asked was, are sales over 20,000? So uh, we'll say, is this cell greater than 20,000? Just so you know, I haven't tested this before, so uh, I'm thinking it'll work because if statements are relatively straightforward. Um, but please tell me in the comments if it doesn't for you. Uh, so the value if true will say yes, and you'll note that I put um, quotation marks around yes uh, to tell Excel that we're going to put text in that field. And value if false, I'll put a comma there. And the value if false will be no. And again, I put the quotation marks there. Um, so each uh, argument uh, is separated by the comma and then again the text is um, it has quotation marks around it so we'll close parentheses and when I hit enter this should say yes okay so that worked so essentially we're asking is this number in this field greater than 20,000 uh, and the answer to that clearly is yes. Um, obviously, you know, we could tell that just by looking, but the real value in an if statement is uh, when you're looking at large sets of data and you want to, you know, filter something out to say, uh, you know, this is above or is below or comes before or, you know, it's basically an and or question is, is the use of an if statement. So since I've got four more uh, numbers, I'm going to drag this down. Uh, so I'll hold down my left mouse button and just start dragging and it should populate all five and so you see here it answered all the questions and so it's asking is this value over 22,000 is this or over 20,000 excuse me is this value over 20,000 yes is this value over 20,000 no and same with these two these say no and so for example um, you know, just to show you some of the flexibility within an if statement, uh, just as an example, if instead of uh, saying the letters no, you could say um, if the sales are over 20,000, then let's put this field uh, as the false value. So you can see when we hit enter, um, it populates that as the false value. So the if statement is just as flexible as every other function within Excel. Um, you know, it should be something that you understand and use readily uh, to impress your boss. So thanks a lot. Hope it was helpful.